Hi, welcome to the program presenting Pointillism. My name is Roger, and today I'll be showing you how to create your own piece of artwork known as Pointillism. But before we get started with that, let me tell you briefly a little bit about what Pointillism is. Pointillism is a form of painting or drawing in which many small dots of colors are put together to form or create a new color. This way your eye mixes the colors right on the paper or canvas, making colors appear more natural and real looking, almost like colored light. Now here's a close-up of a painting where you can see all the individual dots. They are very distinct. Let's take a look at this painting from a distance, then zoom in. At first the dots appear to blend a little bit, but as we get closer, you can clearly see the individual dots. Let's take a look at this color chart to give us a better understanding of pointillism as opposed to other forms of painting. This chart shows the three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Those are main colors, pure colors. Then it shows the secondary colors, orange, green, and violet. The secondary colors are formed by mixing primary colors together so that red and yellow form orange, blue and yellow form green, and red and blue form violet. In more traditional paintings, the colors are oftentimes fully blended, but in pointillism, as you see here, they remain distinct dots. George Seurat is one of the most popular pointillists. He helped develop the technique way back in 1886. You can see some of his work behind me on the wall. Before we get started with our own piece of artwork, let's take a look at a couple of his. This painting is called Circus Parade. You can barely make out all the small dots. They almost blend together. But notice the man on the far right side with the mustache. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at him. Now here, you can see all the individual dots that form a complete image. It's very distinct. And then we go back and we see the whole painting and how nicely it blends together. Here's another Seurat painting. The dots are a little fuzzier, a little less distinct. This painting is Sunday afternoon on the Isle of the Grand Jade, and it's worth mentioning because it's one of his more popular paintings, and it's on display right here in Chicago. It is at the Art Institute of Chicago. You could go down there and take a look at it anytime. Now let's get started on our own piece of artwork. Let's draw a flower. This can be a very simple and clear design, nothing fancy. You'll just need a pen and a paper. And there we go. Now, to fill in the flower, you can use crayons or colored pencils or magic markers, even paint. I'm going to use magic markers, and I'm going to use the three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And I'll do that to draw dots to form secondary colors. So I'm going to start with the stem. Fill in a bunch of blue dots. There we go. Now, I'm going to put some yellow dots on there. Fill it in as much as possible. And there we go. Now 
Now I'm going to do the petals. I'm going to start with red dots. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take the yellow marker, put in a bunch of yellow dots. And there we go. A few more. That looks good. Now for the center of the flower, I'm going to start with blue dots. And now, I'm going to switch to red. All right, there we go. Let's take a look at our flower. So we could see the individual dots on the petal. We could see the red and yellow. And on the center of the flower, the purple and red. And on the stem, the blue and yellow. The dots are distinct, but our eye blends them a little bit so that we have the impression of orange and green and purple. I hope you enjoyed today's program presenting pointillism, and I hope to see you again really soon. Take care.